Lucky Luxus Ronnie. Everybody, how are we all doing? It is Saturday morning and uh, just woken up about 20 minutes ago to let the animals out, feed the animals. Well, I need to feed a dog, but she don't get fed till a bit later on because she's one of them that wants to see what everyone else is eating first. So <laughs> that's a uh, Ronnie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get probably get a shower later, but yeah, I hope your Saturday's going okay. I am gonna talk about a topic in a, in a little while. What's the matter, look, Ronnie? Oh, one second, one second, guys. Sorry, I've, uh, I have to at the minute separate. Ronnie, look at the I just took my jumper off. Uh, what did I do with my hairbrush? Um, separate the boys from Bella at the minute. So I know that she's not going to get caught, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to do a video regarding medical gaslighting. Gaslight, oh, what are we all going to say? I just thought of it last night. I thought, you know what? I think that might be a good topic. Some of my glasses. Good topic to talk about because don't you think some doctors, don't say no, but some doctors gaslight you. I might have to put my hair up because I don't know what's going on with my body today, but I am having some hot flushes. <sighs> yeah. I don't think I'm going, I think it might be part of five or the hot flushes thing, temperature. One minute it's hot, one minute I'm cold. Oh, my shoulders. This is why I don't always do my own hair because <clears throat> pain. Oh. I'll just pop it like that in a bun. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna talk about. But first of all, I'm gonna have a cup of tea in my doggy mug that I got from B and M. The same one that I got the cat one, but it's blue inside. Make myself a milky poo, blaming cup of tea. Right, guys, I'll catch you in a bit. I've just come out for a little walk in the local thingy park before Millie. I've already cleaned up after Millie. So here we go, Millie! Millie! <gasps> What's this? Millie! Death logs! Here! Oh! Sit! Good girl! I haven't thrown it yet, she's running. Hey, good catch! <laughs> good catch, good girl. Look, I've got to have a chew on it first. Sit. <laughs> I ain't got the ball thrower today, so I'm not that strong. Plus, my shoulder is killing me. 
No other dogs are in this field, by the way. It's all boggy. I'm not going down in there in the mud. Well, I suppose I have to. So, guys, yeah, I've come out for a little thingy walk with Millie whilst it's quiet because. Look, <laughs> she's already tired. She's like, I'll just have a chew on this. Mama, throw the ball. Throw the ball. It's actually quite nippy. Today, ugh. So, I need that. I need to get a new. Uh, ball thrower, whatever you want to call it, uh, because that ball is all s <sighs> nothing worse than a slimy ball, is there? So, I put a clip in about gaslighting. Now, let me know in the comments below, guys. Do you have that issue with your doctors where they gaslight you? They tell you, oh no, you can go in and say, Look, I've got an issue, I've got an issue with my hair right now, but. It's nothing to do with my hearing, but my hear feels weird, and it's not an ear infection. Um, blah blah blah, because you've checked for that, and they're like, oh, it's, you know, I'm just making an example. Well, no, 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 you hear, you hear everything's fine. Your hear's okay. Your hear's okay. No, no, everything's fine. You don't need anything. No, but I'm telling you, there's something there, and it feels weird. Oh. And it feels, uh, oh. and it feels weird. I need something needs checking. It feels like it's there, and I feel a lot of pressure behind my eye, type of thing. Well, what do you think it is then? You're, are you going to die in the next ten minutes? Are you, have you googled your symptoms? Are you blah blah? blah? No, it isn't. nothing's wrong with you. It's one I see on your notes. You're suffering with anxiety. Well, that's got nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? Why blame the anxiety? Why blame the mental health? Overthinking? You're overthinking and you're just getting paranoid. There's nothing wrong with you. And it's like they just don't give a shit, basically. You could be blaming. And can you imagine if it did turn out to be something other than fibro? Because that's what they always blame it on. Oh, yeah, it's just been fibro. Fibro this, fibro that. Uh, yeah, sorry, that ball's a bit. Uh. So yeah, they constantly want to blame it on fibromyalgia and it's not fair. So get, like I say, pop a comment in the below if you are a fibro warrior and you get treated exactly the same because I'm sure they do. They must, well they do because I've had a few doctors like that and I feel like I didn't feel listened to, you don't feel listened to, you, uh, bloody hell Millie, slaver. You don't feel listened to, you feel... Then you get paranoid after you've left going, oh, do, is it, is it in my head? No, and you, you do wonder, but then you're like, no, it's hurting. And it, it's more than a bloody earache, you know what I mean? Because <sighs> I remember last time this happened to me a good few years ago. I had issues with my ear. And they kept saying it's an ear, it's, there's nothing wrong, your ear's fine, it looks, looks okay inside. Turned out I had a perfect, perforated eardrum and tinnitus which I can't, you can never get rid of tinnitus you just got to learn to live with it I've got to learn to live with it sorry i'm just wiping my hand on my coat every time i touch that ball have a breather have a breather <laughs> but yeah guys i think doctors i think they need to be educated more on chronic illnesses because the cat keeps saying something it's part of your mental health it's just part of fibro just anxiety related there's nothing wrong with you just it's in your head you'll see me clip anyway just let me know if, if you've ever felt like that because not a nice feeling right i'm gonna catch up with you and get home